There are 43 million disabled Americans. Tonight, we meet a man who spent half his life pushing through barriers, blocking the handicapped. Well, that'll work out fine. Lex Frieden is returning calls from home on this particular morning. He'll be flying to Washington this afternoon. I gotta run. Thanks, bye. James Brady asked Lex to come. There are quite a few events in the Capitol celebrating legislation that Lex lobbied for. A year ago Friday, President Bush signed the Americans with Disabilities Act. When the president commemorates that signing with a Rose Garden ceremony Friday, these two men will be there. Put it in the top of the briefcase. Lex is traveling with Mac, a brain-damaged Vietnam vet. Basically, we as human beings have the same kinds of likes and dislikes and, and uh, interests and desires. And those kind of commonalities are far stronger than the differences that we might have in physical characteristics. He's a good height because you don't have to uh, bend in a wheelchair. You don't have to lean down too far to pet him. In the 22 years since Lex lost use of his arms and legs in a car wreck, he's pushed past many hurdles. In 1968, he tried to attend Oral Roberts University. He said, we could talk a long time about this, but you can't come to school here. It's against our philosophy. And at that point, I, I became, I guess you could say, a civil rights advocate. Hi, Roxy. Lex got his college education in Tulsa and in Houston. He went on to work for the disabled in Washington and here at the Institute for Rehabilitative Research. From the perspective of his wheelchair, Lex has carved out an extraordinary life. You all set? He pioneered Houston's effort to teach the handicapped independent living skills. Now he heads such programs in nine states. His wife Joyce and Mac work faithfully by his side.